when we first received the aircraft, it was in pretty poor condition. It had been stored outside for about eight years at Andrews Air Force Base, and the weather had taken its toll on it. And it was disassembled and brought over and put in storage. It sat in storage all the way up until 1984 when we bought it out and started restoration. In total, in restoration time, we took about 19 years to restore this airplane. That's about uh, a quarter million man hours that we have invested here. If you open up the instructions manuals, the maintenance manuals on this airplane, it says, quote, even though this wing may be removed, do not remove the wing. And of course, when they took it apart at Andrews, they had removed the wings. So we had to go through the process of putting this aircraft back together in steps that normally we would not have to perform. And it was a nice choreography of events that, that went on out here, just mating the two uh, center uh, wing sections. And then having to have operate two cranes to lift the wings up and push the fuselage back under the wing and I'll lower it back in. My advice to anybody who has to do this again is to always check to make sure that you removed all fitting bushings because we had to remove the wing a second time <laughs> to retract these bushings that we had left in 